romantic relationships are a complex and sometimes wearisome experience, but they are definitely a part of our lives as social animals. Because we usually try to find similarities between the real world and the plot of a video game, we play the possibility to ask someone out or even to get married and have a life together adds to the authenticity. Since they are so unique in nature, some of the in-game romantic options stand out more than others, mainly due to some of the particular traits that cannot be found anywhere else. We compiled a list with 10 of the best romance options that really leave you hot and bothered for days after finishing the game. We based our choices both on the diversity a game offers and on the visual and emotional impact certain romantic moments have about them. Eva is pretty much the single option in terms of romantic interests, but the cutscenes where she and Naked Snake have some intimate moments was enough to make us include it on our relationships that leave you hot and bothered list. Eva met Snake in Selinoyarsk during Operation Snake Eater and an inevitable relationship began to develop during a bunch of other missions they had together. Even though Snake was initially hesitant towards this new romantic affair that was starting to form between the two of them, the events that unfolded in the cave behind the waterfall made us think he had a change of heart. Of course, fan theories started to flow after finishing Metal Gear Solid 3, the main question being if they continued their relationship and if Raiden is the fruit of their swift love affair. This farming simulator video game series doesn't only focus on letting you raise livestock, fish and forage, but also encourages romantic relationships. In order to be able to approach a certain NPC, he or she must have a high level of affection towards you. Discovering the items that the bachelor or bachelorette desires and offering them as gifts can help the player obtain in-game courtship points. There are also some special side quests that let the player resolve a crisis to increase the marriageable girl's affections. Depending on the game, there are several romantic interests and rivals you must outsmart to win the heart of your beloved. We would also like to honourably mention Stardew Valley here, as it's pretty much a spiritual successor that kept most of the gameplay elements of the original Harvest Moon. In Skyrim, there are specific steps you must follow if you want to get married to certain NPCs. A special necklace named the Amulet of Mara has to be obtained and worn by the Dragonborn in order to signal the fact that you are eligible for a more serious life commitment. There are no gender restrictions, nor is there discrimination based on race, meaning that you can wear a Kajit or a Bosma or any other species that is up for it. However, in order to actually be able to make that big step, you'll have to find those specific characters that'll give you the quest needed to put the ring on it. The list of both female and male partners is quite extensive, so don't worry, the chosen one is waiting for you somewhere out there. Geralt's two major love interests are Triss Merigold and Yennefer of Vengerberg. Besides these lovely ladies, there are also others that you can romanticise and get close to, but these two are the protagonists of the story. Triss is an older flame that can be rekindled after finishing some quests together, and there is a very specific series of conversation choices the player must select in order to get together with her. Meanwhile, Yennefer's storyline also interweaves with yours, and you can choose her instead of Triss if that is what you want. But there is also a third option. Romance both of the ladies and see how this will finally end up. Not to spoil your dreams, but if you do get too greedy, you'll lose both Triss and Yennefer if you won't be able to settle for just one. Unlike the other Dragon Age titles where it is possible to romance only the companions, this instalment allows the Inquisitor to flirt with any character they wish. Once a relationship is locked, no other engagements can be made, the player needing to split up with the actual love interest to be able to pursue a new one. Whether you are a male or a female player, the choices are very varied when it comes to romantic interests. Cassandra and Dorian are the options for the males, while Blackwall and Sarah for the females. And if you are still not satisfied with these choices, then maybe the exotic looking and highly carnal pansexual Iron Bull will be the right match. Max, the photography student and the protagonist of the story, is an utterly complex character, and the romantic options she is given during the gameplay are equally complicated. As the player that controls her actions, you can choose to relate in a myriad of subtle ways with the ones around you, especially with those that might become a love interest. Thus, in one of the scenes from episode 3, you'll have the choice to kiss Chloe, opening new paths in the gameplay and ultimately leading to their final farewell together. On the other hand, Max can also choose Warren, and give an alternate outcome to the whole plot of the game. Either way, the romantic connections from Life is Strange are by far some of the deepest and most organic you'll ever find in a video game. 
When it comes to variety, the Mass Effect trilogy offers a great deal of love affairs that you can get into. All kinds of relationships are encouraged, be them heterosexual or homosexual, Commander Shepard being able to relate to whomever he or she wants. Through some dialogue choices, you are more than free to start up an intimate conversation with various characters. While the first installment of the series allowed only one love interest, the third one had an impressive number of no less than 11 different options. The choices you make can evolve from game to game, so the array of possible romantic relationships is really at its peak in the Mass Effect series. This Japanese role-playing game offers some of the most authentic high school romances you could ever wish for. They are mixed with the age-specific feelings of sexual insecurity, and on top of all of that you'll find some extremely accurate depictions of sexual identity issues that give way to intricate sentimental mazes. The romance evolves in a highly organic way, similar to real life, the player being able to go to rather ominous dates that mark him or her for quite a long period in the game. For its power of reporting reality in such an organic way, Persona 4 deserves all of our attention and respect. The romantic bonds in Fire Emblem Awakening form by fighting alongside each other rather than by dialogue. If soldiers spend a lot of time on the battlefield together, they will become more and more close to each other, up to the point where they will start some very interesting conversations to say the least. Krom is one of the main characters you can get close to, and fans seem to have a love-hate kind of relationship towards him, since sometimes you can end up accidentally marrying him. But since he is the lord of the game, a lifetime together seems to be the best path to follow, as the storyline falls in place amazingly well when getting together with Krom and even having children together. In Catherine, the player can choose between two different women, each one of them offering a unique ending to the story. If you like block-like puzzles mixed with dating sim elements, then Catherine is the perfect example of how you can get the best from both worlds. Vincent is a hard-working man who has the choice to be committed to his sweet girlfriend Catherine with a K, or go the other way and start a new life with a rebel succubus named Catherine with a C. In order to decide between the two girls, the player has the option of answering lots of questions and even sending them text messages, these helping him make the final call. What is really great about this game is that it offers a highly intriguing gameplay mechanic, where the player gets to decide what type of relationship he's interested in, a more innocent one or a full-blown passion roller coaster. This was our list highlighting interesting romance options that you can experience in gaming, and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. We often ask our audience for suggestions to compile these lists, and if you'd like to contribute, please follow Frag Hero on Facebook. You can also post other romantic encounters that you found in the comments below because we do read pretty much everything. Now would also be a great time to encourage you to subscribe because we upload new stuff all of the time, so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. You can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming-related articles, but until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.